what's up guys it's emily back with another video okay guys so the last video i did i gave you guys a life update what's been going on why have i been mia so today for the long and behold video i know everybody's been asking i'm gonna be doing a wedding haul today for you guys and showing you guys everything i've got for my wedding party for the wedding itself um, obviously certain things I'm going to probably have to insert with a picture, but a lot of the stuff I got, honestly, I really, um, budgeted and all that stuff. So I'll definitely tell you guys everything I got from what place and all that good stuff and how much I spent overall. So without further ado, leave a like, a comment, and let me know down below what you guys think of this video and let's get this started. Okay. So a lot of the places I shopped at, um, I was really budgeting myself when getting party decor, anything that I knew was going to be expensive. So a lot of the places I shopped was Sheen. Sheen has been my best friend for wedding finds. I shopped on Amazon. I shopped Amazon, Sheen, the dollar store. And you guys will see why I'm talking about the dollar store um and this personalized um this personalized site that i use is called personalized mall um and i think that's it a lot of my stuff is from sheen amazon the personalized mall and the dollar store and i know you guys are probably like what but trust me i am pulling my wedding off within the next three months and I feel like I did a really beautiful job of my picks and everything. So the first thing I want to tell you guys is I wasn't planning on doing a party. Um, not until like March, I believe, I decided to talk to Matt and we both decided to have a party. But a very intimate, small party with the people we really, really want there. So... We have about 50 to 60 guests. I think that's a reasonable amount between both of our families. Obviously, some people can't come, but we have 50 to 60 people, including our friends. So, yeah, that wasn't bad to us. We wanted something small anyways. We wanted, like, the really intimate moments, um, the, like the first dance, things like that. Um, the color scheme we went for is, like, different shades of blue besides royal blue. So, we like, like, the dusty blues, the navy blues, the, there's just, like, different blues except royal blue. We did not want royal blue included in that, just because I personally don't like royal blue. So, yeah, our theme, it, our color scheme is dusty blue, royal blue, I mean, not royal blue, navy blue. <laughs> We have different shades of blue of our theme. So a lot of what you guys are going to see is like whites, blues, things like that. Um, like I said, guys, we decided this in March to decide to have a party. Our wedding date is June 24th. And like I said, guys, we are pulling this off. I We both decided this at the end of March, so going into April. So... We had to pull this off within the next two months. And obviously, when you're planning a wedding, people hire wed wedding coordinators, people hire florists, people hire DJ, things like that. Now, me and Matt personally, we know that we could pull something like this off within the next two months. Personally, we did not want a wedding coordinator. We did not want a florist. I wanted to make my vases custom, and then whoever wants to take it at the end of the party could take it. Um, but a lot of the stuff I feel like I got for a reasonable price and how much we spent. Um, and honestly, I'm really proud of us for pulling this off. Like, we definitely discussed things. I didn't make all the decisions for the decor. Like, I showed Matt, like his thought process of what he thinks of this and that like it shouldn't be just the bride's decision um so yeah a lot of what we picked is a decision from the between the both of us um the vases though i showed him the color scheme of the flowers i wanted and 
I pulled it off. I'm not a crafty person, but I pulled it off. So you guys will be seeing like a little um, example of that. I'll show you guys how I'm doing my vases. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into this because we got like one, a lot of boxes. So I hope you guys enjoy this little wedding haul. Okay, so a lot of the stuff that, like I said, we bought from Amazon, Sheen, um, the Personalized Mall, and the Dollar Store. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you guys, I got this. I have all the prices here, so bear with me, guys. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is this wedding guest book. Now, it goes perfectly with our color scheme and kind of like I, I want this as a keepsake for everybody that's going to write in it. And I got this for $20 on Amazon. It's simple. It has guest book of date and location. And then it just you could put your name and your wishes and thoughts. And it's pretty nice. Like it's a really nice book. It's a nice hardcover book. And I thought it was pretty beautiful for my color scheme and it came in like this nice box where i could keep it as a keepsake so this is really beneficial then the next thing that i got off amazon now you guys are probably wondering um how did i pull this off well i did guys so i got this led tea now you guys are probably wondering why tea this is going to be my new last name. It's going to be Torres. So I got the letter T to put. Um, I have a vision because we already found a place. So I have a vision of where I'm going to place everything. So I got this LED T. And I got this for $9 on Amazon. And then the next thing I got was a bag of pearls. Now, to find a bag of pearls, guys, I kid you not, has been impossible. To find a big bag of pearls, like a bulk bag of pearls, has been seriously impossible. But I got two bags of these, which were $12.99 each, so I spent $24 on this amount of pearls. And yes, I already opened this just to test it out. So I spent $12.99 on that. And then... Uh, okay so i really wanted like an intimate romantic type vibe going on for my vases so i found this how many are in here i believe 24 this is a 24 pack of led candle lights so these will be going in my vases and i got this for um let me look For $12 and let me tell you guys that is a good price if you're getting 24 of these so this is how it looks and it, it has like a flicker I don't know if you guys can tell but I got 24 of these not that I needed that many but I'm using um, a bunch for my vases and then I have like a memorial table I'm doing for our pat like our past loved ones that we want to uh, represent at my party so we got these led lights and then i also got this for me and matt's table i got these led candles that were eight dollars um from amazon as well now i still need to get batteries for this but it's like these fake plastic candles a lot of places do not allow regular candles but I prefer LED anyway. So these are going to be going on me and Matt's table. I thought this would be really pretty intimate for me and his table. Um, so yeah, I got these for $8, which is a steal in my eyes. And I already tested a lot of this stuff out. Don't think that I didn't test this out, guys. Because I did. Okay. The next thing I got. Now, I got this off Amazon. And it was like... A little gift to myself i thought it was cute and i wanted it so i got it um this has nothing to do with the wedding it's more so like a, just a little gift to myself so i got this for ten dollars on amazon and it's this little cup and it says 
sorry guys it's this little cup and it says in my wifey era and i thought it was so cute i always wanted like a cup like a glass cup with like this and like the plastic um straw the straw comes with it and a straw cleaner so i got this for 10 bucks and i was like i'm gonna be a wife this year so i might as well just get myself a little something um also guys in this haul i'm gonna show you guys me and matt's ring and how much we spent on it but i'll show you guys that at the end i want to get through the decor first so the next thing is my wedding shoes now you guys won't be seeing my wedding dress until i do show you guys my videos and things like that but my wedding shoes these are them they're from sheen and i spent twenty dollars 20 something dollars i didn't take a screenshot of this one but let me show you guys the vibe this is how they look they have a wraparound ankle pearl and then a cute bow in the back with little pearls and a little gem and it's a small heel but it's really comfort comfortable and honestly i did not know how it was gonna go with sheen shoes because i've never bought shoes from sheen and i have no regrets they are so comfortable and i love them so much um i'm not disappointed at all and then also guys i forgot to mention i did buy one thing from forever 21 and i got this for like three bucks it's little pasties um for when i wear my dress so we got that for the shoes off sheen and forever 21 okay so I'm obviously not going to be able to show you guys this, but I got this off the personalized mall and it's this beautiful banner and I will insert a picture right here for the wedding party. I made a custom banner for me and Matt's party that I want hanging and it has the dusty blue. It came out beautiful guys. Like I said, I will be inserting a picture right here so you guys can see it. And if you guys want a link to it, let me know down in the comments. Um, I saw it. Now, that was like the most expensive thing I bought. That was originally $60 and there was like a huge sale going on and I got it for like $25. So, and it's a huge banner. Like I was expecting it to be a little smaller than what it came as, but I'm happy the size that it is. Um... But yeah, I put my own custom saying on it and what I want it to look like and all that stuff. The color, just everything just kind of went with it. So I was like, I was trying to find something that I could get, like a banner or something like that. So I did find a beautiful banner. Okay, so the next, I have like a huge box, like a Home Depot moving box full of my vases and other stuff. That's not even half of it, guys. So the next thing is also for my bridal accessory. I got this for $5 on Sheen. I found this beautiful purse, okay? It's simple. If you guys don't know my aesthetic for my, like, bridal vibe is I want pearls everything. So I found this beautiful $5 purse, like little side purse that I could just keep my phone in and any emergency stuff. And honestly, guys, it's actually really spacious. Like, it's really nice. It, It's really nice. It's not, it's simple. I didn't want to spend like an extreme amount of stuff on accessories. So I found this beautiful $5 purse that I could just like carry like that the day of the wedding. Um pearls are my obsession it's actually my birthstone as well um the next thing i found off sheen let me see if i can find it okay so each sign one of them was let me pull it out first and then not play the guessing game. Okay, so this one this one came with a set of two, I believe. Or one. I don't know. I gotta see. Yeah, it came with a set of two. 
So this one was $6.50 and it says gifts and cards. So I got these little um, signs that I could place where the gifts, like if anybody has gifts or cards, they could just find it. And it comes with like this little, um, this little stand. So that's pretty essential. And then this one says flavors. Please take one. And I paid $6.50 for these. You know how much these were going for on Amazon? A lot. Like an extreme amount for no reason. So we got those for $6.50, which I thought was reasonable, a set, especially for being a set of two. And then I also got this one from Sheen. And this was $5.50. And it says, please sign our guest book. Thank you for celebrating with us. Look how big that is. This for on Amazon was like $23 just for one. And then it also came with stands. Um, I have a bunch of stands. I got to figure out which stand is for which. But yeah, I got a bunch of stands for this. So and it came with it. So yeah, I paid $5.50 and $6.50. I think that is a deal. And then... Another thing I got off Sheen, so <clears throat> the next thing I got, I wanted to really make a memorial table for the loved ones that we have lost. So I have no grandparents alive and my aunt and slash godmother had passed away in 2012 and um, Matt's grandmother passed away. Um, I don't know when, but he... I wasn't in the picture when his grandmother passed away and his aunt actually like recently passed away I think about two years ago and now his cousin just recently passed away so we wanted to make a memorial table in honor of the people that can't be there so I found this beautiful sign from Sheen let me see if I can find the price this is the only thing that's like not following color so this was six dollars and it says in loving memory although we cannot see you your hands we cannot touch your smile never forgotten you are loved so very much with your presence in our heart today we say i do we proudly say our vows being watched over by you so i'm gonna get like photo frames i haven't got them yet and i gotta make prints of all of our loved ones and I'm going to make a memorial table with the extra LED lights. And I'm going to light a candle for each person. Um, not an actual candle, LED candle. And I'm going to have a little memorial table for them. So, because I would like, I would have loved to have my grandparents there. But majority of my grandparents died um, before I was born. And then one of them, one of them got to hold me. And then he passed away a month after. So, I would like to make a little honor for them okay so then i found this tablecloth um because me and matt are gonna have like a six foot table and i didn't want to just like show the metal and stuff so i found like this tablecloth it's white i got this for seven bucks on amazon basic okay and then the next thing that i found this was 650 I found these table numbers because I am going to be doing seating. So I found these table numbers and um, 50 of these um, name tag things to put on the table, like for people seating and stuff. I have some people's names already on it. That's why I have it flipped this way. But it does have the same design as this. So I got table numbers and um, table seating for everybody this was like a hundred oh no 75 piece so for 650 which is awesome and then i found these stands for the tables this was a dollar 97 and i got like 10 of them so that was a good deal to me so we got that and then Another thing we got, like I said, guys, a lot of this stuff we got as to be inexpensive as possible and budget. So we are doing favors and we decided to do my favorite candy, his favorite candy. 
and we're gonna put like little goodie bags so I found these really nice favor bags and I already put the stickers on them it says a sweet ending to a new beginning and this came with like a hundred of the plastic baggies and then like a hundred stickers so that was a good deal I got this for ten dollars on Amazon if you guys want an inexpensive favor um I'm on this like wedding group and I was asking people for their input about favors and a lot of people were like don't do it do something like candy or food that people could take home with them because a lot of people do not keep favors and I don't want to waste money on things that people are not going to keep so I rather give people treats <laughs> so we got that we both like that idea of the candy idea so we're going to put both of our favorite candies and then I found this card box for $7 on Amazon. It's simple. It says Mr. and Mrs. cards and then thank you. And it's just like um, a regular card box that people could put cards in if they want to gift us anything. So I got that. And then I found this table runner on Sheen for $3. I don't want to open it. But as you can tell, it's like the dusty blue. And I got this for $3 on chain for me and Matt's table. I was going to get table runners for all of the tables. But then I thought about it. I'm just going to get it for me and Matt's table. And then I found these really beautiful flowers. I can't find them. But I got two bags of these. And they're like these blue flowers that I'm going to put on everybody's table and kind of like make like spread it out and I got this on Sheen for two dollars each and it comes with 30 pieces so I only have eight tables that I have to cover so this is how it looks I thought they were really pretty for like to put on the tables like flat like that something I have a vision okay I'm really trying to pull this off and then I found this I didn't realize how much decor I actually got I found this Mr. and Mrs. sign that I'm gonna put on me and Matt's table for ten dollars on Amazon and it came with the set of the Mr. and Mrs. so this was ten dollars on Amazon if you guys are looking for something um and then I think the last thing that I need to show you guys is the, the vases and all. Okay, so now I'm jumping into the Dollar Tree stuff because a lot of this was mixed with Amazon and Sheen. So I wanted centerpieces, obviously, to really make up for the tables. So my hair is just not cooperating wedding stress I tell you okay so I found these like fishbowl vases and my vision is I'm gonna I found these fishbowl raises right and I got these I made these centerpieces already I got all these flowers these flowers from Sheen and I paid $6.50 for two pack of that and it comes with 24 flowers. And then I got some white ones for 24 pack. So I paid a lot for the centerpieces. Um, and I had to get extra flowers for, because I ran out several times. So I had to get like one more order of flowers. But this is the vision. I'm going to have these flowers and then... Um, I'm gonna fill the vases with these pearls and then the LED light candle I'm gonna put in the middle. And then I also got this to put on the side of it. I got this, which is like a blue. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like kind of like holograph kind of vibe, but it's like a nice dusty blue. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm gonna put pearls in here and also as well a candle. And I'm just going to like put this in the center and then this on the sides. 
So that's the vision with the flowers. Um, and I got eight of those vases, which I only spent $23 for all my centerpieces at the dollar store. And I remember that because I was so excited of how cheap I got everything. Um, so yeah, I got all those vases. They were like $1.50 each, which is a really good steal. Um, so yeah, we got the vases. We got the centerpieces. That's what's kind of like sitting in this big box because there's so many vases and stuff. And then the next thing I want to show you guys is I did make, I did give my bridesmaids, which is my two sisters, um, one of my sisters can't be a part of it because she moved down to Florida and is having a baby, so she can't fly out. So, two of my sisters are going to be my bridesmaids, and I made them, like, bridesmaid proposal boxes. And I wanted to show you guys because one of my sisters I haven't gave yet, the other one I have. So, this is how it looks. Um, I found this really beautiful blue box with a little bow. And inside, most of this stuff I got off Amazon... So I got the box off Amazon and this cup, it says bridesmaid and it comes with a little straw. And then I found this really beautiful necklace for $16.99. It says to my sister on my wedding day. And I got both my bridesmaids the same exact necklace with the pearl because pearl is a big part of my wedding theme. Um, two clips off of Sheen. I got these off Sheen for $2. I got this to have and to hold your hair back um, ponytail for $1.90. I got this off of Amazon. Um, and then I found this really cute keychain. It's like a J for my sister off of Sheen for $1.90. This cute little diamond pen. Here's the straw. And then I found this really cute bridesmaid uh, little baggie if they want to carry any makeup or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I made both my sisters a bridesmaid um, box. I had to spend like 40, um, yeah, about 40 bucks on their bridesmaid boxes, which isn't bad. I wish my other sister could have been a part of this, but she's pregos, so which is fine. Um, so yeah, I got my sisters this as a little gift from me and Matt, mostly me. And then I just put little notes asking if they will be my bridesmaid. Um, and the last thing that I wanna show you guys, before I drop this glass, this is going to be a long video. I'm so sorry, guys. But also, if you guys want to know um, anything, any details or anything like that, drop your questions. If you have any questions about what I'm doing for my bridal makeup or my hair or if I hired somebody to do my hair or a photographer or anything like that, drop them. Drop those questions in the comments. So the last thing I'm going to be showing you guys is... The most expensive thing that me and Matt paid for um, is our wedding rings. Um, so we bought Matt's wedding ring at K Jewels and it was $145, but because it was a 30% sale, we got it for $111, which I was so happy. So this is his ring and he wanted the tint of blue in it because our wedding is a theme of blue and he wanted like the black ring so I thought this was a really beautiful ring for him um so we got him this ring this was a hundred and eleven dollars because of the sale and then we got my wedding band I showed you guys my engagement ring already but I put my engagement ring with the wedding band so you guys could see it together so my wedding band was forty five dollars I believe and with the heart engagement ring that Matt had got me originally. Guys, watch when you guys see this. Look how beautiful. So my ring costed about just as much as Matt's ring. So we spent a nice amount 
on all the decor, the rings, the gr bridesmaids gifts. I also got my mama a gift. I'm still waiting on one thing for her, but I also got my mom a little gift. This was like $12. I thought she could wear it the day of the wedding. It says mother of the bride and it's a, this beautiful pearl bracelet. And it has like this heart charm that says mother of the bride. And I got her a pearl necklace as well. The same thing as my bridesmaids, my sisters. The same exact necklace I'm going to be getting, but a different saying. It's just to my mother on my wedding day. So I got my mom that. And then, um, what else? Is there anything else that I missed? I feel like I forgot something. Um, well, I think that's it. So yeah, that is the huge wedding haul. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions down below of all the stuff I bought. If you guys want to personally DM me, my Instagram is always linked. If you guys want to talk to me on TikTok, I'm always on TikTok. Um, but overall, I think we overall spent about 300 or 200 on the decor. And then maybe 300 on everything. Um, including like accessories and things like that. And then the wedding rings are separate. Let me tell you guys, if you guys are planning on getting married, make sure you do it smart. If you guys are doing like a small intimate wedding party, definitely be smart about how you spend your money. Do not invest a ton of money into something that you might not make up in the wedding party, if that makes sense. Um... Me and Matt spent a good amount of money, and he knows I, I shop with coupons. I shop on a budget. So he was he knew he was playing it safe with me when me shopping for the wedding. And, of course, I asked him for his opinion and all that. So make sure you put your partner a part of it because their opinion matters also. Um, and then we also got Matt's outfit. If you guys want to know any details about our wedding dress or our his outfit, um, things like that. Just drop all your comments down below and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this wedding haul. I've been meaning to do this for a minute, but I wanted to have everything on hand and then do a full video for you guys. So if this video is too long, I'm so sorry. But if you guys enjoy like this wedding content, um, there will be more coming. Um, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.